I hope Aha comes through. Very well, I am here. It's as, as quick and easy as wishing it to, to be so. Greetings to all that are attending. My name is Aha Kittini. Well, everyone. Well, this is Brian. Much love to you. Much love and light to you, Brian. It is an honor to be in your presence again, as in the presence of all that gather here today and all that will see this recording. Hello. I'm, I'm le learning to let go more and more, and just uh, you're encouraging me, so thank you to open the channel. Yes, Brian. You are also encouraging many others, and hello, Gabriel. It is a very high honor to be in your presence also. I sense you have a question or a comment, Gabriel. Is that true? I was wondering, am I close to channeling or not? Yes, yes, you are. And I wish to express this idea for all that are attending and for all that will see this recording. You already have, during this recording, proof, if you'd like, evidence, if you'd like, for those minds that require those ideas to shift into acceptance. It is as quick and easy as wishing it to be. If you wish it, whatever it represents for you, may it be channeling or any other skill or ability you wish to develop, you are your own best ally or your own worst enemy if you'd like those ideas. For me, it comes through feeling like I starting feeling closer and closer and that I'm getting very close and I'm going becoming better and better all the time so yes, that's Gabriel. amazing for me. Yes, that is true and you've just used a very important word to represent a very important idea which is feeling. In your society you've been heavily conditioned to be centered in your head. I've addressed this issue several times before and I've suggested that you center your attention in your hearts. This is a very difficult idea to practice for many of you, especially those of you who are, let's say, left brain dominant, which is a societal tendency and also a gender tendency, especially for males. So, as you shift into your feeling, Gabriel, you notice things accelerate. Is that true? Yes, like um, getting very... I just have a strong feeling like come, energy comes through my t entire body. It yes. becomes... When I try to meditate, I can't meditate. But when I feel meditate, I just start meditating yes. immediately. Precisely. You gave that same example in an earlier transmission, and that is something I wish to reinforce that idea that following your feelings more than paying attention to your thoughts will guide you in the correct decision-making process. Right, right now I feel like i feeling, feeling it, and then then some blockages come up, mm -hmm. and then then it stops for a moment, and then they just go away and continue. So it's opening up inside of me more and more. Yes, very good, Gabriel. Do you notice what you do with your feeling, with your attention, with your focus, when you notice those blocks coming up? Do you notice what you, so to speak, do? That yes, allows I, you to move through them. Yes, I allow them to be them themselves, and then it kind of stops. Yes, precisely. I'm not trying to fight them. Exactly. That is it. That is it. Thank you for that example, Greg Gabriel. That is very powerful, and that is a key for those who wish to, let's say, pick it up and use it to unlock the locks inside themselves. Just noticing, just bringing your awareness to feeling whatever comes up without judgment, without attachment, without rejection or resistance is a very powerful 
practice if you choose to do so. Because I kind of feel that people want so much to go into meditation, mm. and that creates a disbelief that they can't go into meditation. So exactly, it's a self-fulfilling if if I say idea. if I say to a person to stop thinking about apples, that person will have hard time not thinking about apples. Exactly. Very good. That is precisely what I meant with a self-reinforcing negative idea or belief. When you focus negatively, you cannot not bring your focus from whatever you are already focusing on. So, very good. Thank you for that example. Do you have another part to your question or comment? Yes, um... Just that I feel very close, but uh, am I close or? Another very powerful idea that has been shared through other channel, which is Nick, is that you already are there. You're already there. Yes, I heard that I have been channeled. Link yes. in some ways before. Yes, yes. But I just ha have to remember. Yes. Only yeah. yourself holds yourself back from whatever it is you wish. You or anyone else. This is a universal notion I wish to share at this time. Another very powerful idea. That... I think it's the same with me too. I last night. I felt like something was trying to talk to me because um, usually when if I do get something telepathic I hear this really high frequency in my ears and somebody is just like hey there but like um, I've only had this a few times but I really felt strongly some something was going to happen and I uh, was just too scared I think I scared it away. Caitlin yes. that, that happens to me also I've had the high pitch frequencies yeah, in my is, what is that? that? Um, I was told that it was either a spirit, somebody is there trying to communicate with you, or it's something else. I'm not sure. I hear it a lot, though, and um, it's like every day. It's, it doesn't go away. It's always there. But Sometimes when it gets really it could high, be tests. yeah. So I heard that. Um, what was it? I watched um, a really old webinar that Max was in with Jim, and some guy was saying that negative entities were trying to contact him and get and get his permission. And I was like, what? And I've never even heard of that. But Yeah, I wouldn't focus on that. Like I said, just focus yeah, on that, letting go of the positive. And it, you're right. You're, you're, you're always surrounded by love, yeah. no matter what. And you just know that in your heart. So, yes, mm -hmm. bringing that through to the surface. I, I've had sessions, too, with Jim, and it's bringing – more of our spirit to the surface is what it is. It's bringing that heart energy out. Uh, let me interrupt you, Brian. So uh, uh, when somebody is in channeling state, let's focus on them and not to carry the conversation outside much because um, for them it is a special state. It's like a big uh, nuclear power station is in, uh, is uh, is feeding that that uh, channeling uh, channel, and it's it's a waste of channeling if if you just carry the conversation away. Max, I wish to lovingly disagree. All right. Although I respect your idea, <laughs> your, the intention, especially the intention behind your idea, which is to be of the higher service and of the most effective and efficient use of the channeler's energy, which is a very honorable, honorable idea. In this case, the energy present is of a very familiar and of a very... Uh, let's say, easy flowing conversation. So for this group, at this time, this is not to be interpreted as valid for all future situations. At this time, it is acceptable for this channel and for myself for, to allow different formats, which is also something I wish to encourage human colonies to experiment with. So, so uh -huh. far, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, last channel in... Uh... Jaguar channeled for about two hours straight, and after that, for about four days, he felt sick. Yes. So, uh, 
how much time do you think would be good for his body to channel today? That is a very variable idea. In this case, somewhere along half, mm -hmm. an hour and a half would be an acceptable threshold for his energy at the time. Are you uh, capable? Also, yes. Are you capable of uh, judging the, the time for yourself? You are from different time light, uh, time space. So would you be able to finish the conversation in time? Do you need help with timing? Yes, I, I accept your idea. Also, this I wish to uh, propose to the channel as another learning experience for himself to be attuned, more attuned with his own body and honoring his signals from his body, knowing and prompting him when to, uh, let's say, wrap up a given session. This is also of use for him. And also a reference for all of you who wish to channel, be aware of your bodies and respect the signals your body gives you when you access this state. For it is a very important aspect for your health to manage properly your energy when you are in a channel. channel. So I have set up the timer for 45 minutes. Uh, would it be convenient for you or you are fine with uh, judging the time yourself? I that, think is a, that is of use. That is acceptable. You may express when the time is up, so to speak. That is of use. I, I just wonder if, if on, your, on your side you have the timer. Uh, an earth timer which you could use. Do you need my technical help or you're, you're, you're equipped with those technologies? We are able to do so, but in this case we wish to allow you to express the idea and the initiative you have put forth. So, And we also wish to thank you for taking that initiative and being proactive. All right. Uh, Caitlin and Brian, I interrupted you. Please continue. Oh. Yes. Uh, I, I think I've seen you in my dreams, but I don't really remember it. Yes, you are referring to Brian or to myself? Katie? You, you. Aha, Kitty. Yes, that is true. You expressed you wished for me to visit. I have visited. We have been in communication. So yes, as you see, another idea that you can have as evidence that things are as easy or difficult as you wish for them to be. So, congratulations. And uh, also, uh, I think I've seen your face too, but it, it didn't look, it wasn't like, re, it wasn't like right there, or like, hey, I'm physical, but it was energetic looking, and it was, I seen the bottom of your mouth, or maybe it was somebody else's, but it was like a lion-like mouth, and I was like, oh my gosh. And it was, I seen the mane, and it was, it was like yellow energy, and it was different, and that was, it was really interesting. I've, that with you, I've had, I've had the same experience type with that too, with Laren energy, or with others, and I just wanted the confirmation with that. Yes, in both cases, I have visited you. You are in communication with myself, I am in communication with you. Thank you very so, much. Yes, here you have a confirmation for your awake state mind or your conscious human mind. That is true for both of you. Uh huh. Uh, yes, Max. There was uh, yesterday I spoke to Zina Zinaida, uh, yes. an Armenian from uh, California. Yes. Um, did you have a contact with her? Yes. Is there any, anything else you can add? As uh, I have expressed before, through this channel, I tend to have abstract responses to abstract questions or open-ended answers to open-ended questions. So okay. if you wish for a more effective communication, if you can be more specific, I believe that would be of higher service and more uh, effective use of our time. All right. She, you, you, you showed yourself to her a face for about yes. one second. Yes. And she's a painter, uh, and asked her to paint you for us. Would it be appropriate? Yes, that is acceptable. Uh, if, for the time being, you maintain that information, 
withheld from publication. Oh. In other words, yes, she may use that information to bring an image of myself into an art form, but I request respectfully that you do not publish that for the time being. The appropriate time will come in a near future. As near as, again, I wish to remind you, as your collective agreements allow. It's all up to you how quick things move along, so to speak. Do you channel with open eyes or closed eyes? I prefer to channel with closed eyes, even though I'm capable of opening them. I choose to do so, and I also take this opportunity to address some of your questions, let's say, Maxim. Yes. That and also earlier communications we have had through this uh, medium of human colonies hangouts through Google yes. that the visual aspect is deeply connected with your head center and this if not managed in the best possible way let's say it can be very distracting so in the beginning stages it is of use to keep the eyes closed so that you may focus easy so that your focus is easier so that you do not get distracted as much 